Starlink is a satellite company being constructed by SpaceX. Their goal is to provide low-cost internet access to the entirety of the world using next-generation technology. Their main reason for doing so, according to Elon Musk, is to quote, enable the high-speed uploading of anime memes. You are watching Disrupt. So the satellites are conceptualized to essentially be a grid around planet Earth. These 25... These 20,000 satellites will communicate back and forth with each other using lasers. This is because light travels faster in the vacuum of space than it does using our current day fiber cables. Adversely, we will communicate back and forth with the satellites using a receiver of sorts, which they describe as a pizza-sized box. So the important distinction here being it, it won't be communicate, it won't be uh, connectable via the phone right away, to my understanding. It'll be a system that uh, is completely independent from current day cell towers. In theory, if they could move this to be accessible via all of the devices currently available now, they would be completely upheaving the current monopolies of modern day ISPs. Uh, this, they essentially use uh, something called Krypton-powered ion thrusters. They're the first spacecrafts to use this. And what that means is they're firing microscopic atoms with an electrical charge out of the thruster, to my understanding, a positive and negative charge. Uh, this is then used in conjunction with gyroscopes on the satellite itself, allowing for long-term, low-cost movement in each unit for extended periods of time. So looking at the wider view, critics have brought up the point that companies like Starlink may introduce space pollution, reducing visibility for astronomers as our night sky is filled with reflective satellites blocking our view of the wonderful cosmos. Starlink solution is to paint the satellites with non-reflective material to avoid obstructing our view. They're also working in tandem with the Space Debris Collision System. Uh, which is a real-time communication network that sends locational data of space debris to allow uh, you know, spacecrafts to uh, avoid collision. So once the satellite is to be retired, SpaceX states that the unit can sort of fly towards a designated spot on Earth will burn up upon re-entry. So only you know time will tell if this will be enough to create a clean orbit going forward. It's it's up until now. It's only been designated or even feasible for uh, governments to release spaceships into uh, our low Earth orbit, which I guess is really, when you think about it, no different. It's still humans. We are, we are uh, even though it's moved to private companies now, we are still humans, and it seems... At least in our current environment, we we have a um, we have a pattern of being short-sighted in our technological in the effects that our technology will have on the environment. I think moving forward with this technology, though, we are uh, able to understand the effects our technology has on the environment itself so hopefully and i'm very optimistic because seeing as we're even having this discussion now i think we will be able to create better ways as we advance technology to reduce the chance of its effect on the environment as the example is given above we are not only creating the plan to move forward, we are creating the plan to sustain that movement forward, which in this discussion relates directly to space pollution. All of past human information, cultural information, religious beliefs, scientific discoveries was made accessible, decentralized, 37 years ago with the advent of the internet. But today, that access still remains slow and expensive to many parts of the world. So, perhaps, this new technology of light transferring in the vacuum of planet Earth, guided by science fiction ion thrusters, will give more people the chance to make use of this incredible tool known as the World Wide Web.
or at least to share more dank memes. Last week I asked you, what other applications for exoskeletons may we see in a futuristic society? Octodragon said, in all practicality, exotechnology would be best utilized in the industrial and rescue fields. Suits designed for durability, reliability, and practicality, submersible suits for underwater construction and exploration, rescues made to helping after or during disasters, exoskeletons made to allow for the use of heavier construction equipment. These are far better uses for this technology than to develop it for combat. Physical conflict is ultimately pointless and results in nothing but death. I hope that, in time, we can eliminate physical war altogether, and I wish good health and safety to all military personnel of the world. Thank you for the answer, Octo Dragon. This week's question, what anime would you watch on Starlink? I'll see you next week. I found myself alone in the desert, running from what was chasing me, avoiding what I lost. All that remained was my wit and the stash above my lip. Manscaped offers high quality men's bathwear products, keeping you feeling dandy like a rose. Today, I'm talking about their dual piece hair and body wash, the crop cleanser. I've been using this for about the past month and I truly will say it is a fine product. It's infused with natural hydrators, including soothing alloy and sea salt leaving you feeling fresh and invigorated, like a cool morning breeze sent by the grassland spirits above. Manscaped.